Uh, Stephen J. Westman is here every Monday morning, even on Columbus Day. Look at you. <laughs> is today Columbus Day? Yes, it yeah. is. Sir. No wonder I wanted to sleep in today. <laughs> so, hello, everybody. <laughs> Um, uh, how's thanks it going? for being here on this holiday. I'm, I'm happy to be here on a holiday. That's how, that's how um, scattered I am today. Um, <laughs> I just got back from a fun little press junket that I'm going to keep secret for a while, but um, ended up with some fun media people from around um, a couple of states. So it'll, it, I'll, I'll, it'll come up later because I want to talk about another travel thing okay. that we just did recently. Um, um, you know, twice a year we do a big travel feature. Um, I did the full one in the spring. This year we did, because we've got the new issue back, and even though it's got Andy DeFranco on the cover, we've got a pretty full travel piece on the inside. Um, Mike English and Kevin Hopper and I all did um, some fun little travel pieces around here. Good. Um, Hopper went up to Santa Fe and talked about walking around Santa Fe Stayed at the Hotel Chimayo, which is a redo. No. There I am with my maps, <laughs> um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, which is a redo uh, by Heritage Hotels and Resorts. Yeah. And are you familiar with them at all? Of course. They're so, great, yeah, great Jim people. Long and his right. crew. You know, they've been around since 2005. And, you know, I bang my fist on the table to not change our old hotels. But what they've really done is they've really made these places better. Yeah. Um, you know, the St. Francis up in Santa Fe, the Hotel Chimayo, they're, they're bringing in a new generation of people that wouldn't have usually gone. Um, and uh, they took over the Hilton Hotel down in Santa, in uh, Las Cruces. Yes, the one up on the hill there. Right, you know, which is, uh, you know, back in the day was about the only thing on that side of the freeway exactly. um, from Las Cruces. So I was, given, I was given the task to go down to Las Cruces, and to be honest with you, I didn't know what I was going to talk about. Um, and I'll backtrack a little bit. Winter of 1967, so I was only in kindergarten. My family got transferred to Las Cruces somewhat begrudgingly. And we spent the next two and a half years down there, and in the neighborhood we were in, and meeting neighbors, um, we, the, my family, we really kind of fell in love with the city. Mm -hmm. You know, the Sandia Mountains, which I still think are beyond compare. The Oregon Mountains really took over my heart for a while. Um, weekends were spent with my mom going down to Old Messiah. Mm. Movies at the Fountain Theater, which is the oldest movie theater this side of the Mississippi. Um, oh, wow. And there's a bookstore down there that I always knew as Boland's Books um, that is still there, the Messiah Book Center, run by her daughter because Mrs. Boland passed away a few years ago. But I would always go into that store, and I realize now it was only a year old when I first started going in there. Really? <laughs> and it's that chaotic mess of books. And you go in, and Mrs. Bowen would talk to you for three or four minutes, and then she'd reach into a pile and pull out whatever book she thought was perfect for you. And I still have some of those books. Hmm. So I went down, and I, I, what I did was I revisited, and I walked into the old Hilton Hotel, which is now the Hotel Encanto. Um, which in 2006 Heritage started their redo on. And I think we've got some photos of it up there. Okay, um, let's take a look. They're, uh, what they've done, oh, you know what? We probably should have shown, there we go. That's their pool. Beautiful. Um, wow, that looks that like a resort. Beautiful. It's like being at a resort. Um, you're sunken down, you don't see anything around you. Full bar service, full menu service out there. That's, That's their bar, the Azul Bar, beautiful. which is gorgeous. Almost makes you want to go to Las Cruces. Right. <laughs> well, I, the last time I was in there was 1987 for the U2 concert with like 30 friends from UNM. So we took over that hotel. It was mayhem. But when I walked in, what I was drawn in by was the artwork in the lobby. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful crosses everywhere. And um, another thing that about a hotel that always makes me happy I end up there is a staff behind the counter who gives you recommendations on the local things oh, to do. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's what I trusted myself with. And uh, there was, there were a couple of folks there that, you know, really guided me well. And I said, you know, where should I go to eat? And I had in my mind where I wanted to go. But the first night I got there, um, they sent me to a place called the El Sombrero patio. Hmm. Um, and I walked in and I realized having been there as a kid. 
Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that deja vu moment. Yeah, yeah. total Aww. deja vu moment. I didn't even realize it until I'm walking in the door, and the kid that took care of me named Carl used to work for Turtle Mountain Brewery up oh, in, wow. in Rio Rancho, and he said, make sure you have a gordita because they don't make gorditas in Albuquerque like they do here. And so I had that flashback. The next morning, I ended up at Nelly's Cafe down by the train tracks, and I walked in there, and the, like the slow turn of the fan, everything was like this old neighborhood feel of a restaurant. And Josie, the server, walked up and she said, welcome back. And I didn't recognize her, but she actually recognized me from the last time I had been there, which was the late 80s. Oh my gosh. And as we discussed it, we found out we had been at the same elementary school together. I mean, we didn't know each other at Whoa. that point, but she remembered me from almost 25 years that ago. That is amazing. What a small world. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the food is great. I think. The food has a different taste of the green chili, I think, down uh -huh. in Las Cruces than it does here. Um, mm. um, so yeah, it was great. And you know, I, you know, I always want to find a local coffee house. So I ended up at a place called Milagro, which is right across from um, NMSU, which is still a gorgeous campus. Um, so I ate well, and then I ended up at, um, at the local, oh, High Desert, High Desert Brewery. Um, which um, is hidden in a little neighborhood, really good beer. If you don't know where you're going, you get completely lost, which is another thing. Do you all use Siri when you're driving to, or your, sure. your um, smartphone to find? I use the Maps app sometimes. You do, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, you know, I'm kind of a map guy. They just showed that photo, my old iconic IQ photo where I'm holding a map because I love my maps. I like to have them folded out in the car. I like to save them where I've put right. the red dots on where I'm oh, yeah. going to and what route <laughs> right. and why I went off the highway here and went there. But in a city like Las Cruces, if I hadn't had that thing guiding me, I would have missed a few spots because you, yeah. you get a little bit lost. Um, do you guys go down there at all? Do you spend any time? I haven't time been there in a in a while, but right. I like the town. It's it, great. It's great. The community. only time I go to Las Cruces is to watch the Lobos play. Right. Well, there you go. Um, you know, and it's a gorgeous facility where they but play. Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, there's there's lots. You know, it's a town built on agriculture. I got in the car and I wanted to go through a place I remember going through, which was Stallman's Pecan Orchards. Mm. Um, it's a chili field. So you're going down 28. And you're driving through these chili or these chili fields, the pecan orchards. Stallman's is now closed to the public. They don't do um, Not, oh, sell really? to the public. Huh. They only do wholesale, which was a bummer. But you take 28 and you end up at Chopi's Bar, which college kids know, the locals know. I think it's 1913 that the family started selling enchiladas out of their kitchen. We have a shot of it. There's your glasses. <laughs> you go, yeah. That's going to be my new iconic Steven thing. Steven was I, here. I leave my glasses and my hat on, though. I had to take my hat off the bar because I had to be respectful to Liz, the bartender. where is this again? In this is Chopi's, and this is in La Mesa. So it's about 12 miles down, 28 from Las Cruces. I had a beer, of course, um, some chips and salsa, and Liz, uh, the bartender, and I chatted. There were people. The outside of the bar can sometimes look like a biker bar. You know that scene where Pee Wee pulls up to the bar yeah. yes. and there's all those bikes out there? I'm glad they weren't there because I would have knocked them over. <laughs> but the chili reinos, and I like to get red chili on my chili reinos, mm. but they were also smothered with chili con queso oh. and crazy good food. Um, and, um, you know, then the rest of the time, I kind of, you know, I went back to Messia Books. Mrs. Bolin is gone, but her daughter is still running the place. And Old Messia is a beautiful little plaza. But the museums there are really worth seeing. Uh, the Brannigan Cultural Center, which is down in the, um, the historic downtown district, um, one of the older, older buildings. But they directed me to what we're showing up here right now, which is the New Mexican Farm and Ranch Heritage Museum. I hear that's yeah. wonderful. Unbelievable. You know, and I, th I think it was a spark in the mind of Bruce yeah. King, you know, who was uh -huh. the last of our good old boy right. governors. Yeah. Um, the last, the only cowboy governor we ever had. But you walk onto 47 acres of property up there and it's east of, east of um, NMSU up on Dripping Springs Road. Mm. Um, big barns full of animals. Um, cows and geese oh, and chickens. This is great. And, um, and then on the inside, it's a whole learning center. John Deere has a whole section 
where you look at the history of the tiniest of the John Deere tractors up to what they have today. Oh, wow. So, I feel like I've been to Las Cruces. You should go. <laughs>